what is clear is that the impact we're all looking for lies within the experience of patients, how they experience their care. It's also clear that changes in those care pathways come as a result of technology innovation. I'm here with Richard Vines, Chair and CEO of Rare Cancers Australia. Can we drill down further and go into a little more detail in how technology plays a role in supporting patients with rare and less common cancers? Probably one of the first questions we would ask any patient is, have you had genomic testing um, as, a con as part of your treatment regime? And, and too often, I think, we're, we're looking at genomic testing at the moment as trying to validate a diagnosis from a clinician, whereas really what it should be is the first thing you do is you know, do a, a, a panel test or a CGP and that proves to be, a, that, that should then be a roadmap for how you, how you diagnose and how you, how you, you structure a treatment pathway. Um, so for me it's, it's everything, it's, it's the science is, is both exciting, it's not, you know, it's not a cure, but it's, we're on a pathway and I think that's really exciting. Mm. One that springs to mind uh, was a young mum whose daughter was three and that girl is starting high school now and she's had her mum all that time. That's the power of targeted precision oncology and, and I think we, we just have to be determined to bring that to the fore and get it there. Mm.